I'm Hare Krishna Menon. I'm a program manager in the Blend for Visual Studio team. Our team is super excited to announce Windows Phone 8 support in XAML Design Tools in Blend for Visual Studio and Visual Studio 2012. I would like to take this opportunity to take you through a whirlwind tour of the designer features available on both products. First, let's open Blend. This is a new project created from the Panorama template. This is a great starting point for a new Windows Phone 8 app. You can see that a layout is created with sample data support already for you. You can go right ahead and start designing your UI. First, let's take a look at our new device panel. As you can see, there's a new option for display with multiple resolutions specified here. You can go right ahead and select a new resolution and we re-render the designer in that particular resolution. This saves a lot of round trip time. You don't necessarily have to deploy to an emulator or to a device to actually see how your app behaves in different resolutions. If you need to deploy to an emulator, you can choose the emulator versions here before executing the run command. Now let's do a quick walkthrough of sample data, states, template editing, and behaviors. For the purpose of this demo, what I'm going to do is delete the long list selector over here. I'm going to select the long list selector on the objects and timeline panel and hit the delete key. Then I'm going to the data pane and create a new sample data and then hit OK. You can see that Blend has created a sample data source for you with already a collection object specified. I'm going to select the collection object and drag it to the design surface. You can see that Blend creates the necessary controls like the list box and its associated item templates. I would like to move the list box into the first panorama item. So I'm going to select the list box and move it over using the objects and timeline panel. Then I'm going to reset layout on the list box. Now let's do a quick template editing demo. I'm going to right click on the list box, go to edit the additional templates, edit generated items and hit edit current. You can see that then takes you into the template editing mode. The, template, the item template has a stack panel, a text block, and a checkbox. First, I'm going to change the orientation of the stack panel. I'm going to select the stack panel, go to the properties window, and change the orientation to horizontal. It's that easy to change properties while in template editing mode. Now, what I would like to do is basically on user tap, I would like to change the background of the tapped item. In order to do that, I'm going to the states panel and I'll add a new state group. Then I'm going to add a new state. Let's call this unselected. Now I'll add a new selected state group. In the selected state group, what I'm going to do is change the background of the stack panel to red. Now, how will I hook up the event that is tapped onto a state change? I can do that easily by using behaviors. Now let's go to the assets panel, go to behaviors, and drag drop the go to state action onto the stack panel. Now, in the properties of the behavior, what I'm going to do is say, change the state to selected. Let's deploy this app onto the emulator and see the behavior in action. I just did a F5. You can see that the new sample data is now reflected in the emulator. I'm going to tap on the first item and you can see the background change to red. It's that easy to use Blend's powerful authoring features to develop your Windows Phone 8 apps. Now, let's take a quick look at what we have in store for you in VS. In order to op open this project in VS, I can bring up the context menu in the project pane and invoke the edit in Visual Studio command. We can see that we have brought over the device panel, the property inspector, the document outline, and the designer from Blend into VS for this release of Windows Phone tools. You have the exact same design experience in both products. You can even do complex operations like edit template in VS Now.
Finally, let's take a quick look at the application bar design time support in Blend and VS XAML designers. I can right click on the page element and invoke the add application bar command. Using the property inspector, I now can add an application bar button. I can also use a property inspector to add multiple menu items as well. It's that easy to use XAML designers in Blend and VS to design your Windows Phone 8 applications. We hope this release of Blend and the VS XAML designer helps you build even better apps for the Windows Phone Store.